This is Dr. Craig Rogers, Director of Renal Surgery at the Vaticuti Urology Institute at Henry Ford Hospital. In this series of videos, we demonstrate a step-by-step -step technique for robotic partial nephrectomy using a forearm approach. The first clip shows our setup for robotic partial nephrectomy. The patient is a healthy middle-aged male with two solid enhancing renal masses in the left kidney. Imaging shows two medial located masses one measuring 2.7 centimeters at the upper pole and the other measuring 1.9 centimeters at the lower pole. Surgeon preference dictates which robotic instruments are used, as different instruments offer different relative advantages. In the dominant hand, the monopolar scissors are used for dissection and tumor excision and is exchanged for a needle driver for renal reconstruction. In the non-dominant hand, a blunt instrument such as the prograsp or fenestrated bipolar forceps can facilitate atraumatic exposure, while fine-tipped instruments such as the Maryland forceps or the PK dissector can be used for precise cauterization of small lymphatics or vessels. The fourth arm may be useful to provide additional autonomy for more complex tumors or vascular anatomy, obese patients, or abundant paranephric fat. The ProGrasp instrument in the fourth arm can provide retraction and can also be used to place robotic bulldog clamps and to control the robotic ultrasound probe. The equipment used by the bedside assistant is listed here. The OR is set up as shown with the operating table in the center of the room, the anesthesiologist at the patient's head, and the bedside assistant and surgical technician on the abdominal side of the patient. After endotracheal anesthesia is administered, a Foley catheter and OG tube is inserted and the patient is placed in the flank position with the kidney over the table break. The kidney rest is not used, but a slight amount of table flexion may increase the space for ports if needed. All pressure points are carefully padded and the patient is secured to the operating table. The camera trocar is placed, the camera is placed through this port, and subsequent ports are then placed under direct vision. Robotic ports are placed laterally and assistant ports are placed medially as shown. We generally place the camera trocar lateral to the rectus muscle and cephalad to the umbilicus. Robotic ports are placed about 5 centimeters on each side of the camera port. A long bariatric trocar can help reduce collisions with the hip and other instruments. The assistant port is placed medially, usually in a periumbilical position. An optional assistant port may be placed cephalad to the primary assistant port for more complex cases. For right-sided cases, a 5mm subxiphoid port can be placed for a locking grasper to provide liver retraction. For obese patients, the entire port template is shifted laterally towards the kidney. In the next video, we demonstrate techniques for mobilizing the bowel to obtain optimal exposure for robotic partial nephrectomy.